where Atlantic tides and cliffs collide as an island here. Where seagulls cry and where tears once filled so many starving eyes. After years of sowing in tears and walking by faith, the Broadcasting Commission of Ireland granted the first fully licensed Christian radio station in the Republic of Ireland. Under the leadership of Brian and Anna Daly, volunteers gave of their time, talents, and energy to construct state-of-the-art studios in Cork. Brian spent many late nights running wires and preparing facilities. He said that there were times in which he'd wonder, Lord, will this dream ever be a reality? Will anyone ever actually use these studios? The Bible says that hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a dream fulfilled is a tree of life. That hope has been deferred for many years, but on the 16th of March, 2008, Ireland's first full-time Christian radio station began broadcasting, 93.1 Life FM. Shining eyes light. It's the message here, been here a thousand years, a thousand years and more. It's been spoken round every hill and ground. With a mix of music, including carefully chosen mainstream, contemporary Christian and Irish, combined with continuous coverage of news and current events, and programs that tell the story of God at work and the lives of real people, our hope is to help bring hope to the people of Cork by assisting them to see beyond religion and to see, perhaps for the first time, the real Jesus. And God The vast majority of the work to date at Life FM has been done by a diverse group of volunteers originally from countries including Australia, Canada, Great Britain, New Zealand, Nigeria, Northern Ireland, South Africa, Spain, the United States, and Zimbabwe, with representatives of every Christian denomination in Cork. Most of the volunteers have had no previous radio training, but Life FM seeks to develop skills and to train those with a heart for God's work. Christian radio is a new work in Ireland. There is still much work to be done. Opportunities are more numerous, so please pray that more laborers be sent into the harvest. It's been spoken round every hill and ground, every shore to shore. As Life FM station manager Brian Daly said, this is not the work of any man or woman, but the work of God. It is God who has brought us to this point, and we are looking to Him to do great things in Cork. We give Him thanks for the lives that will be turned back to God. We give thanks for the families who will stay together because of Him. We give thanks for the suicides that will be averted. We give thanks for all the people who will become friends of Jesus and sons of God. We give thanks for all of those who have prayed and given of their time and finances. He has done great things, and He has not finished with Cork. I hope and pray that we can share in this great step forward for the body of Christ in Cork and Ireland. He is able to do exceedingly more than we can ask or think. And God save Ireland once again. Pour out your spirit, Lord, on every woman, on every man. Thanks for helping 93.1 Life FM. Shining the light over Cork.